As patron of the Russo-British Chamber of Commerce, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you back to the London Business Forum. Due to the pandemic, it's now two years since the last forum took place, and I'm delighted to be addressing you again. With the success of the vaccination program, normality is slowly returning, although unfortunately not in time for today's forum to be totally offline. But still, I'm thrilled that members and friends of the Chamber can finally come together to meet once again in person. And I would like to thank both the British and Russian ambassadors for hosting the RBCC in Moscow and London, respectively, for what are the first offline social gatherings since the pandemic began. We're all rejoicing in this fact, and it feels that we've finally turned a corner. Let us hope that these gatherings mark the start of regular get-togethers that are the hallmark of the Chamber. Organising such a forum is a big task, and I'd like to thank a number of people for making today happen. Ambassador André Kielin in London, and Ambassador Deborah Bronnett in Moscow for their generous and unstinting support. Dr. Abramov, the Russian trade representative in the United Kingdom. Mr. Katilin, the president of the Chambers of Commerce and Industry of the Russian Federation. Trevor Lewis and the Department for International Trade in Moscow. And of course, all today's panel participants. A special thanks to RBCC members and friends for taking the time to join the panel discussions and for supporting the Chamber during what has been an incredibly trying period for all concerned. Finally, and arguably most important, I'd like to acknowledge the support of the sponsors without whom today's event wouldn't have been possible. They include platinum sponsor VTOL, gold sponsor EN+, and the bronze sponsor IBEC. Now to the forum itself. Later this year in November, world leaders will gather in Glasgow with the aim of setting out a global response to the challenges of climate change. This is a fitting backdrop to look at how investor and public demand is now compelling business to organize itself along ESG principles. The panels will look in detail at the various approaches that Russian and British companies are adopting in incorporating ESG considerations into their business strategies as well as looking at the role hydrogen may play in helping the move away from fossil fuels. These are all contemporary and important topics, and I hope the discussions we have today will lead to fruitful and profitable business conversations tomorrow. Thank you all again for joining, and I hope you enjoy what should prove to be a fascinating day.